Well, good Friday morning. It is July 19th, and we are coming to you on the air with breaking news this morning for a worldwide IT tech outage. It's hitting businesses, major corporations, and of course, grounding flights to even as well. We've been talking about this all morning long. This is an issue with CrowdStrike, which is a software company that offers cybersecurity for uh, Microsoft and uh, Windows 365. Yeah, so if you are a person that uses a Windows computer, you're seeing my laptop screen right now that also utilizes Microsoft 365, which then uses CrowdStrike for your cybersecurity. Mm -hmm. You're going to log into your computer this morning and see a screen that looks like this. It's going to say recovery. It looks like Windows didn't load correctly. It's going to prompt you to restart your computer, and then it's going to be kind of stuck in this cycle of, of launching and relaunching over and over again. Uh, IT departments across the world are working to fix this problem, including CrowdStrike themselves. We mm -hmm. want to give you the statement that their CEO, George mm -hmm. Kurtz on X posted earlier this morning. It says CrowdStrike is actively working with customers impacted by a defect found in a single content update for Windows host. Mac and Lynx host are not impacted mm -hmm. and they say that quote this is not a security incident or cyber attack. When we woke up this morning a lot of us were wondering okay is this some sort of a hack that's impacting computer systems here in North America but also across the world at least from what CrowdStrike is saying Right. It does appear to be an incident with a single content update that was pushed yesterday evening. Uh, right around 7, 8 o'clock is when we started getting yeah, this Yeah, this happened right around dinner time. You could see, obviously, the impacts by this have trickled on overnight and now into the morning now. Um, so what we're going to do here uh, is check in with our assignment desk editor, Ashley Moss. She's live for us in our newsroom this morning. She's been uh, really hard at work, her and Tiffany there in the back, now trying to make calls, send out emails, and to see how this is impacting impacting all of us here across North Texas. Ashley, good morning. Now, good morning. We want to give you an update since we have been talking a lot about airlines and airports. We did just get the latest statement from the FAA, and this is just what we got in maybe five minutes ago. Uh, just to read it to you, the FAA is closely monitoring a technical issue impacting IT systems at U.S. airlines. Several airlines have requested FAA assistance with ground stops for their fleets until the issue is re resolved. And again, they tell folks to monitor fly.fa.gov and of course that's information that we already know but part of our job here on the desk is to bring you the information um, as we get it here and so that's the latest update that we got into our newsroom as of 6 39 a.m. We are continuing to monitor um, updates including one over at DFW airport where we have Bo Evans who's monitoring things going on uh, at the airport. Bo? Yeah, good morning, Ashley. Uh, things over in the Delta Corridor have calmed down quite a bit in Terminal E, but I want to show you uh, what people are dealing with right here. That is that blue screen that Madison was talking about and shows you. You can see it's not just your laptops. It is the actual check-in counter um, for the self-service section at Delta Airlines. They still experiencing it on some of their computers, so some of them won't be able to get your luggage tag. Uh, but right over here, we have some that are, in fact, up and running. So, it, you know, they are still dealing with this issue as all of us are. Um, the latest information that we have is that Delta Airlines said that all of their flights are paused. Uh, they are working to get back on. And so we will continue to monitor all of these situations here at DFW and make sure that you get the information that you need. And Ashley is monitoring the situation for everything else. Uh, and she has the latest with what's going on, Ashley. And on that note, why don't we go ahead and take our misery map. And this is where you can see flights all across the country. If you're headed to the East Coast, Chicago, Newark, Boston, New York, Atlanta, you're going to have significant delays and cancellations. We are monitoring both at Dallas left field and DFW airport. Even though these airlines are saying they're operating as normal because of what happened overnight, it's almost like dominoes. And just to give you guys another update, we have been checking in with public safety. Some agencies are telling us they are experiencing delays. We're trying to figure out exactly what that means, but we want you to stay with us. We're CBS News Texas in the mornings.